is here to talk about the opening of a new stage play in Pittsburgh where actors portray horses. It's the Broadway hit Equus, now considered a modern classic. Pittsburgh Public Theater's Ted Pappas chose it for the season opener. He's also chosen to direct it. And we're happy to have Ted with us to share the story of Equus and how he's portraying it on stage. And Ted, I hear this is one of your favorite plays. It is one of my favorite plays, and right now it's my favorite play. <laughs> I'm having a great time with it. We're having a big success with Equus, so I'm real happy about it. So what is the storyline? It's a psychological thriller? It is. It's a psychological thriller, and I won't tell you too much because it's a bit of a detective story. Mm. It involves a psychiatrist and a young man. He, he's trying to figure out why he committed this, this violent act, and all the people in this boy's life come to life on the stage, including the horses, because he worked at a stable, and they're portrayed by actors. This is one of the sort of great plays of the 20th century, and one of the things that makes it famous are these men playing horses, these athletic guys uh, in these high boots made of steel and these giant heads, and it's, it's a really exciting looking show. I was going to ask you, how do you portray that on the stage? And we're seeing a little bit of the video now. Are we? Yeah. Does it, does it come across? I see the metal horse heads. It's and the guys are just jumping on their back to... Yeah, to ride. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's, there's a stable uh, where a lot of the action takes place, and sometimes they're just gentle horses, and other times we take them for a wide, wild ride through the fields. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's a great play because it combines this real theatricality of mm -hmm. these horses coming to life with this psychological thriller, this terrific mystery story. That it's like a Hitchcock movie on stage. Isn't it interesting too that this is kind of imagination at its best? You kind of have to absolutely. You know, I agree just with you. Go with it. Yeah, I mean, it 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 makes the audience powerful too. The audience loves watching this play. Mm -hmm. Always has, but certainly at the O'Reilly, where you're really close to the action, it makes you feel like you're part of the storytelling. Uh, I, I think it's a great play, and we, it's a great opening to the season. So the uh, the star is this but also the young stable hand yeah. and what is what is the terrible act he's committed can you tell us it's violence against the animals themselves the animals he loves and we try to figure out why he's committed this deed the real plot of the show is the psychiatrist and his sort of investigation but also he's in the middle of his own midlife crisis while this boy has committed this act and all the people in their lives you know magistrates and parents and employers and nurses it takes place at a psychiatric hospital but it travels all over the countryside of southern England takes place in the mid 1970s in England it was one of the biggest hits of the 20th century uh, it, it it between that and chorus line it opened around the same time in New York it helped transform Times Square uh, New York had not seen a hit play of such proportions in many many years and it still reverberates I mean I think it's one of the great plays so uh, it I'm sounds, thrilled it sounds wonderful and your passion for it is definitely coming through. Well, I chose it for myself, and I also chose it for an actor named Daniel Krell, who's mm -hmm. playing the psychiatrist. I've done 30 shows with this man. He's one of the great American actors, and he happens to live in Pittsburgh, and he's a, a, a special member of our company. So it's a great show for the two of us. Uh, it's, it's a nice way to start my final season at the Public Theater. I was going to ask you, for, for those that are familiar with your work and with you, they're going to be sad to hear this, but this is your last full Sure. I've been running the company for 18 years. Oh. I was part of the company for 25, so it's a quarter of a century. And, uh, you know, I've been at it since I was a kid. I started working <laughs> when I was 16, so I need a little time off. I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to keep my place in Pittsburgh. It's my Great. favorite city in America. I'll be back. And... Um, but in the meantime, we're producing the, probably the biggest season in our history, and it opens with Equus, which is in performance now until October 29th. So I hope everyone will come see the final season yeah. with me and this wonderful cast. Going out with a bang. Oh, huh? yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. I appreciate season. it. And again, Pittsburgh Public Theater presents Equus at the O'Reilly Theater on Penn Avenue in downtown Pittsburgh. Opening night is this Friday. It runs through October 29th. Get showtimes and tickets at kdka.com slash PTL.